uh, in this video I'll show you guys how to get started with implementing Steam Audio in your Unreal 4.19.2 project. Um, I'll be talking specifically about HRTF rendering function. In the previous video I did a small demonstration of the capabilities of the plugin and I encourage you to watch it if you haven't. Um, so to start off we need to open up our Epic Games Launcher and create a shortcut for the game. So if we go down to the Unreal Engine tab, click on the drop down arrow and create a shortcut just over here. So this will allow us to put, put in the audio mixer tag necessary for running the plugin. So right click properties and over here to the target at the very end after the last bit we put a hyphen audio mixer click apply click OK so now we can just close down the launcher now and now we need to just run this bit over here um, to which we just put in the tag and so you need to locate your project So this is the world that I previously created for for the demonstration. Um, so to start off, um, now that we have the audio mixer function enabled, we actually need to enable the plugin itself. So we go down to Edit uh, Plugins, and over here on the left hand side, we can click Audio, um, click Enabled Steam Audio, and click this Restart Now button over here. So now that we have the plugin enabled, um, now we actually need to tell the engine to actually run it itself. So we go out down over here to project settings, uh, scroll down over here to platforms, um, depending on what you're using. I'm using Windows at the moment, so I'm going to click Windows. And over here at the uh, audio drop down, um, we need to specify uh, the engine to actually use the Steam Audio actually use it for rendering so spatialization plugin steam audio this is going to give us the hrtf rendering function uh reverb plugin steam audio uh this is going to give us um uh, the calculated reverb uh depending on the environment so it's going to include geometry and also materials and occlusion uh, this is going to specify how the sound is going to propagate um again taking into account geometry and um and physics, um, air absorption, human human perception of sound, and it's basically a logarit logarithmic Turing curve. So now that we have these enabled, now we need some sounds to actually demonstrate this. So I've got some pre-made cues as well over here for the demonstration. Let's use this fire fire cue for now. Put that just over here on top of my burning burning bush. Then in the ho house, I'm going to put this one. And in the church, I'm going to put in some chanting and some beats as well. So if we click on the sound cue, if we go on down to the details panel, we could manually um, put in all the settings necessary to um, spatialize it, hence we would click override attenuation and we would specify the special spatialization method and we would need to put in some plugin settings over here as well. But if you're working with bigger projects and with more sounds than just a few, then it might be worth creating attenuation settings uh, which you can then easily apply to each sound just with two mouse clicks. So let's just create a new attenuation setting for that and we'll call it Steam Audio 
attenuation. So over here we can like specify the same bits that we had in the details panel. So for spatialization method I want um, binaural, HR which is going to be the HRTF rendering. And for the spatialization plugin, um, I have already have a pre-made uh, phone on spatialization source just over here. But normally you would just create a new asset over here, click that, give it a name. And here you can specify the settings for it. So HRTF is the one that we want. And this interpolation method basically specifies how the um, plugin is going to render the sound. Um, we'll use bilinear for this demonstration, um, as it's going to be a bit more smoother, but it you're going to sacrifice some processing power for it. So now that we have that done on the attenuation settings, click save on that, then we can easily just add them to each of our sounds like that and this will just speed up your workflow if you're working on some bigger projects because then you basically you can ignore the rest of these uh, settings in the details panel so for this for this demo I'm just going to decrease the radius to about 1000 to fall off an inner radius about 250 easily pinpoint where the sound is in, in the 3D space and this is particularly useful for uh, virtual reality as the audio needs to keep up with the convincing graphics. Um, but this raises, raises the next problem um, as we approach the house. The sound is bleeding out through the walls even though it's being properly spatialized. bleeding throughout the walls so this is where the um, occlusion settings would need to take place and I'm going to show you in the next video how to um, how to set those up uh, thank you for watching and uh, feel free to post any comments in the comment section um, and I'll do my best to answer them thank you